Well, things were moving along really well. I don't know where this is coming from, but we got some serious hydraulic issues up here. Big mess. Coming right out of the pump there. Jeez, I can't even walk on it. I'm gonna have to shut it down find that issue because that's no good we have both machines out we were covering a lot of ground hoping to uh, finish up this field and I was hoping for another one after this yeah I don't have any hydraulic pressure I can't raise the uh, header at all so big issues there I don't know if we'll need a pump it looks like it's more than a hose I'm not sure what the deal is but we'll take a look at it and find out here All right, here's what we got. So that's the main pump there that runs the hydrostatic for getting the machine moving. This one runs a bunch of stuff extra in the machine. Apparently it runs the header for sure because I can't raise that up. That's about a foot off the ground and I can't raise it up. I can push it down. But anyway, I think the pump's fine. It's coming out of this hose. <laughs> Tastes as good as it looks. It's uh, coming out of that hose, and it runs down here underneath all this. So we're gonna pull all these shields off. We'll have to pull the hose off. It looks like hopefully there's enough extra hose length in it. You know, you, when you mix hydraulic oil with all this bean dust, it's really quite pleasant to work with. Uh, but the really good news is that this hose doesn't run all the way up there under the machine like we thought. It comes inside here, it takes a turn, and it heads down to this solenoid. So, I can't tell you for sure what it runs. I'm not a trained John Deere mechanic, but I know how to fix a hose when there's a hole in it. Or at least I know where to take it and have it fixed. Alright, we got it off of there. I got the hose in the back of the truck with me. I'm going to run to uh, John Deere in town. They're going to cut the end off and crimp a new end on that because we got enough hose there to do it that way. Then uh, I'm going to run home and grab some oil because I know we lost a little bit of oil. So we'll fill that up, get the hose back on there, and uh, hopefully finish this field up today and get moved. But uh, this is going to set us back a couple hours with one machine. The good thing is the other one's still running. So we'll get that thing back on there get back up and going. So I came to John Deere, and I got hosed. Leader Farm Network is on. Scott Robertson, farmer from the Winnebago. Well, we got it fixed up. I ran to John Deere, got the hose fixed. It wasn't too bad. We got it on there pretty quickly. You can see we're going again. And uh, hopefully, we can go for quite a while. So I get combined in for about 10 minutes, and all of a sudden she starts beeping at me. Engine temperature. I look on the gauge and it's roasting, so I shut it all down, put it back to idle. It slowly comes down, and I'm thinking, you gotta be kidding me, one problem after another. That's it, we're getting a case. Just kidding, guys, I, I wouldn't think that way. But anyway, I come back here and check out this rotary screen, and what happened is, all the oil that missed it on everything here got on this screen and the bean dust just caked this and it and the uh, fan couldn't breathe so it couldn't get any air to uh, to the coolant system as it pulls the air in here to cool the motor and it couldn't get any air through that screen to cool the motor down so it's an easy fix we don't have to buy a case today okay for real this time I'm gonna go harvesting now
have more power than I do. A little dusty out there. It doesn't matter if we have two rows or four rows to pick up. Um, Buy a case. <laughs>